My, my, Molly, you look worked out. Is everything all right? Well, my exhaustion is simply the case of the Limited proving to be very popular. Oh. Ever since the introduction of the service, it has seen an exponential rise in passenger numbers. All the while, I've still been the only one pulling it on a firm basis. I know that you've helped out every now and then, which I very much appreciate since it allowed me to get a break. But it's still mostly me, given that you're also handling the Wild Nor'wester. I understand. Topham even had to introduce more trains to the schedule in order to keep up with demand. I'm honestly impressed at how you've been able to handle all that load. It must have been very tiresome. You can say that again. I'm completely knackered. Have you mentioned it to Topham? Not really. I think I've hinted at it, but that's about it. You really should, Molly. Topham would do more than anything to help. I know. I'll do it tomorrow. Very good. And I better get ready for the next limited run, so I'll leave you to rest. Thanks, Croven. Let's just get this over with. Molly, are you alright? Well, I'm still intact, but I don't feel so good right now. We better get you clear from the main line, as to not clog up the station. Yes, we better. Uh, what a day. Well, Molly, this is not exactly what we wanted. No, sir. I I'm so sorry about it. I should have told you that things were a little tense. You should know, Molly. If there's anything bothering you about anything, then let me know and we'll talk about it. Yes, sir. Now, I understand that you want to talk to me about something. Yes, sir. Now, I understand that I should have probably come to you about this earlier, but here goes. For me alone, the Limited has become too much for me to handle without trouble. And while Croven's contributions have helped somewhat, I think that another permanent engine on the Limited is in order. I think you're right, Molly. And based on this, it seems like it's more or less the only good way to go. I should get my next index within two days, so we'll see what's available. As for now, we better get you to the work so you can be mended. In the meantime, Croven will handle the Limited. Very well. Well, 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 don't recognize that whistle, that can only mean one thing.
Hello, you must be the new express engine. Welcome to the railway. Hello? Yes, yes, thank you. Is something wrong? No, N nothing. E everything good. Right. Uh, but I, I hope that you're ready to pull some express trains since that's where we really need you. If only it was the top. Um, sorry? Well, I, I would be more than happy to provide my pistons as assistance. That's good to hear. Ah, Wilson. Welcome to the railway. I see that you found Croven. I hope that you two will get along. How was your trip? I irritating. What? Fine. It, it, it was fine, sir. Good. Anyway, I'll give you a few test runs so you can learn the route and the schedule. Then you'll start full service in about two weeks' time. How does that sound? What is the train, sir? Well, the train that you'll be handling is our lighter service, since it needs some help in terms of motive power. Right, yes, that sounds good, sir. Thank you. Wilson? I am so confused right now. Me too. That's a very peculiar way to behave. Did the index say anything about that? Well... In the index, there is a description box provided for every non faceless locomotive, but his didn't have anything, so I assumed that things were just fine. But based on this first interaction, I think I might have been mistaken. With me at the head of our biggest express services, the LMS will prevail as the superior transport link up north, all the way to Scotland. Pah, a ridiculous statement. You may have the upper hand in size of motive power, but we have the better track. But we have the prettier route, but we have better catering. Our catering, combined with the scenic route we have, massively outranks the Flying Scotsman. And of course, your pitiful Wild Nor'wester Long Distance Express run. Hey, the Wild Nor'wester is among the finest services in the country. You know the report, it said it loud and clear. But you can hardly settle into a comfortable speed before you have to stop. It's so short. What do you expect? We can't exactly increase the length of Sodor. You could have made the service longer. If you joined the LMS like you should've. Oh, you're really getting back to that. The case happened years ago. It was wrongful judgment. If that's the case, then that's the fault of the justice system. Not us. Hmm. <laughs> and I hear that you've got a new light express service. Which, in itself, even more so than the Wild Nor'wester, is pitiful. The Limited is a fine supplement to the Wild Nor'wester. It keeps congestion down during rush hours, and also allows the people of Ellsbridge to have some of the fun. And the results show, since we've just committed to expanding the service by acquiring a new engine in order to allow for more trains on the timetable. And what engine would that be? 
a single? Of course not. As lovely as the singles are, they wouldn't be good enough. Well, then what is the new one? It's... Hmm. Honestly, I don't know. I haven't met the new one yet. Is it that one? Well, I haven't seen him before, so it must be. A D21. Really? Those? They were clunky and had poor performance. The service won't last with him. Every engine has a chance, especially at the hands of Topham. Oh, now you're starting with that again. Topham being the father figure and all. Yeah, right. Hello. Who's there? It's Gordon, one of your new Express colleagues. What do you want? Well, we haven't really had a proper introduction to each other, so I thought that that would be in order. C can, can you please just give me some time alone? Well, Express engines must know each other in order to ensure sufficient runnings of the services. <sighs> right, the name's Wilson. Go away! Um, Wilson, well, are you sure that- I know enough about it now, Gordon. Go away! Fine, so be it. But that's no proper way to act towards your colleagues. So that corner really went on to say our services are not proper. That engine has no idea what an express service is in definition. He honestly sounds a lot like your older self, to which I hope that you won't convert back to. Goodness no, that one is far behind. But the old Gordon definitely wouldn't like him. What do you mean, Gordon? His behavior entails that he is hiding something. Something that might be better left unsaid. That's quite a far-fetched thought, isn't it? In any uncertain situation, always assume the worst. Yeah, in certain situations, but that's way too far in this one. Would you think he's just lonely? What? He looks very lonely. I'll go talk to him. Eric? Let him be. <sighs> Hello there, my name is Eric. Nice to meet you. Go away. I hope that you enjoy your stay here. Where do you come from? No comment. Do you think Sodor is a beautiful place? Please. I think it's much prettier than London. Stop. Oh, I heard that you came from the LNER. I used to work there, you know. D did you pull many express trains? Oh, for crying out loud. Why do you have to ask so many questions? If you want to know, fine. Yes, I come from the LNER. Yes, I've pulled many express trains before. And no, they weren't the top ones. They were light and slower, not the top brass ones like I was designed for. I was promised so much, and I got nothing. And the light express services here isn't much better. So there you go. But seriously, when I say leave me alone, then you leave me alone! Excuse me. Eric, don't. Let him have some time alone.
Morning, engines. Looks like it'll be a beautiful day today. Uh, where's Wilson? It's complicated, sir. Let's just say that he had a slight breakdown and left the sheds. I don't think slight is the proper word. Right, let's say major. Where is he now? Honestly, we don't know, sir. Like I said, he left the sheds shortly after. Well. Nathan, get some of the workers to look for him. Yes, sir. I have to talk to him. Oh, m morning, sir. Don't worry, Wilson. I'm not here to scold you. I've been told that you have a lot of things that you want to get out. I heard that you released some of it yesterday, however, I don't think that it was in a controlled manner. It's... it, it was very unprofessional, sir. It's alright, Wilson. Now, please, what's going on? I, I don't think I want to, sir. I am willing to help you in any way possible. I have no reason to be angry at you. You haven't done anything wrong. Right, well, as you might know, given that you're quite knowledgeable about railways, I'm an LNER D21, or Northeastern Railway R1 class. And my class was designed to pull the heaviest express trains that there was on the Northeastern Railway then. I was the second engine in the class, meaning that before I was rolled out, the, the first member had already gone through trials to determine how my class performed. Unfortunately, we were deemed unsatisfactory when it came to the task we were designed to do, meaning that by, by the time I was rolled out, we were practically set aside from what was to be our main work. I had been promised so much gr greatness, so much respect and, and so much pride, and, and in the end, I, I never got it. I, 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 w I never got the chance to pull a heavy top-line express train like I had been promised and what, what I was dreaming about to do. I only got the respect of a, a secondary passenger engine since that's the work I ended up doing. And the other bigger engines di didn't treat me very well given my apparent bad performance. This led me to anger, but since I was facing passengers so often, given my position, I, I had to hide them. Which unfortunately led to my behavior. I, I could never get over it. I, I felt so betrayed on so many levels that it burned for ages inside of me. I, I never forgave them. Ever. And I don't think I ever will. I I'm sorry for my behavior, sir. It it's so unprofessional. Allow me to ask you one question, Wilson. G g go, go ahead, sir. If there is something that you would like to do more than anything in this world, what would that be? I, 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 I just want to pull a big heavy express train, sir. I've been very jealous of the others who's been pulling your biggest service. I just want one run, sir. Well, Wilson, I don't see why that wouldn't be possible. Sir? Our service might not be the biggest in the United Kingdom, but it is the biggest that I can provide. And trust me, based on what I've been told from the others, it's big enough. But it's not too big for your capabilities. Y you, th you think I can do it? I've done quite a bit of research on your class, given that I, for a long time, have been a great admirer of the Northeastern Railway. And based on what I could find, the performance figures of your class might not be as bad as the public might think. In fact, I dare say it's alright. And you've shown it during your runs here. You were just introduced too late. But I think you should be fine, Wilson. And Crowen is to take the next Wildner West out of Titmouth here in about 30 minutes. He's a very kind engine, so I think he would be perfectly happy with allowing you to take his run. But th the route, sir, I, I, I don't know what it is. It's what you're used to, but you only have to stop at Wellsworth. Th that's it? It is our long distance express service after all. Uh, I, I see, sir. Uh, th th thank you, sir. I I'll, I'll do my very best. I have no doubt that it will be a wonderful journey for you. Just you wait.
Well, it might be the only chance. Let's make it a good one. Oh, I see that you pulled it today. Yeah, I did. Well, I'm just amazed. I didn't expect this. Not that I didn't believe, I just didn't expect. And at that, you're slightly ahead. I, I am? By about three minutes. That's not bad, mate. Well done. Y yes, th that, that was well done. I hope you enjoyed it, and hope that you'll get some more chances to do it in the future. Anyway, I have to go now. Nice talking. Oh, you must be the new one. Nice to meet you. Wilson, was it? Yes, that is correct. And Molly, I assume. Yes, indeed. I appreciate the fact that I'll be getting some help with the Limited. It became too much for me, which is why I found myself here. I, I heard, and I'm more than happy to provide my assistance. That's wonderful. But, sorry to ask, why are you here? Just to greet me? No, not the intention. I'm here to re receive a few modifications. Modifications? Oh, it's just just some outside parts that are old and need to be refined. It's it's nothing serious. But better do it now before it gets worse. I see. Well, good luck with those. I guess I'll see you when you get out.
Look at you, Wilson. That suits you. Blue like the others, eh? It was time to get rid of the old and dated exterior. It's boring and, well, old. And I also wanted to show my appreciation towards you. And I thought that this was the only appropriate way. I say, that's actually very heartwarming. And good on you. Change is necessary. I hope that you'll feel more at home here and on the express. Speaking of which, that run you made, very impressive. But you definitely needed it. And when asked about you being allowed to take the run, I simply couldn't say anything other than yes. And look at the result. I second that. I must admit that your behavior gave me a bit of doubt about your capabilities. Aided by your... Well, I don't want to say it since it's rude and out of character, but lack of size. And, well, you performed good enough on the light runs, but on the heavy ones I was not so sure. But you proved me wrong, and I've now gotten the highest amount of respect towards you. For doing the run, not just well, but spectacularly. Well done, Wilson. I'm sure that the Limited will see great lifts for you working on it. Whoa. Well, th thank you, Gordon. That, that's very nice of you to say. No problem, Wilson. Welcome to the railway. Indeed. And I'm curious, how are you feeling now after the run? I feel so much better. The run was... it, it was soothing. It was a breath of fresh air, that run. I feel more at peace now. The grudge may not be settled. I have no reason to forgive the Northeastern at the moment. But it was nice to get my frustrations out, whether it was the proper way or not. But they got out, and I greatly appreciate the support from you. And while the Limited may not be the top brass express service, it's still express. That's the spirit. Keep it up, Wilson. And I better continue what Gordon said. Welcome to the railway. Thank you.